Hi, I'm Pariah Burke, one of the world's leading experts on Adobe InCopy, its oldest proponent, and one of the most prolific writers and trainers on the subject of InCopy. I'm a writer myself. I've written a dozen books, a few hundred published articles, and my fair share of press releases and marketing material. I've used Microsoft Word since the 90s, but Word isn't really a writer's tool. Well, perhaps it would be more accurate to say Word isn't a tool zeroed in on a writer's needs. Word tries to be all things to all people. I'm not the first to describe it as an everything in the kitchen sink kind of tool. It's a word processor, certainly, with excellent spell checking, change tracking, and copy editing features, but they're hidden behind and between mail merge and charting and page layout and web design tools. Serious writers and editors prefer a more focused writing environment. That's one thing InCopy provides with equally excellent spell checking, change tracking, and copy editing features, as well as features Word doesn't have, such as always visible real-time line word and character counts, configurable text substitution, and of course, ultra deep integration with Adobe InDesign, the worldwide standard in professional publication and page layout production. If you're just starting your career in professional writing, you might not have much fear of switching from Word. In my experience training more than 2,000 writers and editors to use InCopy, I know it can be scary for those who've worked in Word for a while. Deadlines are always looming, and there's a strong temptation to just keep using Word, an application in which you know you can do the job, albeit not with ease or joy, and with more than a little frustration. I get it. As I said, I'm a writer myself. I once had to make the same transition now facing you. I've helped so many learn in copy to become proficient, then productive, then happy writing in in copy. Over the next couple of hours, I'm going to do the same for you. By the end of this course, you'll wonder how you ever put up with writing and editing in Word for so long. I've specifically constructed this course so that you can use your own documents as you're going through it. As you're learning each lesson, use your own files if you can. If you can't, or if you don't have the right type of file on hand, go ahead and use the downloadable lesson files. In there, you'll find a Word document and an RTF. You'll find an Excel file for when we start working with Excel data. You'll find a number of InCopy ICML files, as well as an InCopy ICMT template, which will make sense once we get into working with the template. And then you'll also find a couple of InDesign INDD documents. Those you can open in InCopy as well. Just go to File, Open, and then open the InDesign document directly in InCopy. It will then load up the assignments and InCopy files contained in the Secret Museum of Man assignments, which are for when we're working with images, and the Superscript subscript folder, which are for when we're working with formatting text. Again, if you can, work with your own files. If not, these lesson files are there for you.